my name is Nikki and I'm here with Next Advance using their 5E bullet blender to homogenize larger and tougher tissue samples. This instrument can handle up to one gram of tissue sample per tube and it's good for tougher samples like fibrous plant material, umbilical cords, or muscular tissue. If you have an unusual or difficult sample, you can always contact the customer support team for protocol suggestions. They are constantly updating their protocol library to meet your specific needs. We'll most likely recommend using what I have here, which is the Navy kit featuring Next Advance's UFO beads. These beads have a cutting edge that allows them to really get at that tougher tissue. Today I'm working on two different tissue types. I have kale and chicken heart. Both of these have been pre-cut into smaller pieces, which is a really important step to get that uniform homogenate. I have two sample tubes all ready to go. You'll notice that they're in our navy kits featuring those UFO beads with 500 milligrams of each sample. Again, these tubes can handle up to one gram. I'm using a PBS buffer at two mils per tube, but depending on your downstream application, you can use whatever buffer your protocol recommends, whether it's for DNA, RNA, or protein extraction, or looking at those metabolites. Once your tubes are ready to go, we're gonna load them into our 5E bullet blender. Unlike a centrifuge, you don't have to worry about balancing your tubes, so I'm gonna place both of my samples up front. For these samples, I'm going to homogenize at a speed of 12 for three minutes. The bullet blender does go up to a speed of 20, so if you have more aggressive, tougher tissues, feel free to adjust the speed as needed. So we're set for 12 and three minutes. Great, it's been three minutes, so it's time to check on our samples. What I'm looking for is a uniform color and consistency with no obvious tissue sample pieces. Both of these look good to go. Depending on your downstream application, you can either centrifuge the samples now to extract the clarified supernatant, or you can just extract the whole homogenate and place it in a clean tube. You can store it in the freezer, or you can move directly to the next stage of your protocol. It's that easy.